Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at the easiest and most dynamic way to record a camera and a screen. This is Camtasia Rev. If you've watched any of my tutorials, then you've seen Camtasia in action. It's what I use to record my screen, draw callouts, little zoom ins, all of that stuff is done in Camtasia. I export that out to Premiere Pro and add a camera and my show intro and out, but you could do the whole thing in Camtasia. Now, what they have added is something called Rev, and I'll record my screen and show you and the, the camera and show you what that is. So here's the recorder ready to go. So this allows me to record any screen, any size, including vertical, square. This is my USB camera. This is the audio from the USB camera or any other source that I might have. And record system audio. Rev is turned on and I click record. And it's going to give me a countdown. And I will run my presentation, which is about my first computer. So here's my first computer. It was an Atari 1040 ST, power without the price because they were competing against Macs at the time. And um, it had a, actually had MIDI ports in it and a cartridge on the side. Somebody had a, a little device that you could buy that had stuck in the cartridge. They reverse engineered the Mac ROM so you could actually run Mac software on it. I didn't, I ran Atari software. There's my studio and you'll see a tape deck on the uh, desk. The tape deck used Simpty time code to control the computer back in the eighties. It's amazing. Uh, there it is right there with a whole whack of floppy disks. And I actually used it live on stage um, as a live multi-track performance. It was controlling, that's the, the computer there in the flight case on the left. It was controlling um, the Korg M1, eight different tracks, uh, plus I could play live on the keyboard. It was synced to the drummer's drum machine and occasionally it would sometimes go out of sync uh, if there was a little glitch on stage, a little uh, movement of the cable and uh, he would scream at me because he, he couldn't hear the click anymore and he was, uh, wasn't was able to keep time. So uh, I had to shut things off. All right, so that's my presentation. I'm going to uh, stop recording and let's call this Tari 2 because I've done several tests on this. So here it is, here's Rev. And I could export directly from here if I want. Um, typically, if you're going right out here, you wouldn't have a, 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 a slate like I did and, and you would look directly at the camera and, and make a clean beginning. Um, I'm getting several things started here at the same time, so I didn't. And down at the bottom, you've got re uh, choices for the size, wide, vertical, square, and you can see it changes my presentation. I'm gonna leave it on um, uh, 16 by nine, and you can go to the layout, and then you can pick different layouts. And you can see the layout changes depending on what size I want, whether I want a reflection on the bottom where I am, where I'm off to the side, off to there. So I'm gonna pick um, this one with rounded corners. And here I could export directly to a local file, online screencast, YouTube, or to a bunch of other destinations, or I can open this up and edit this further in Camtasia. All right, so there's my layout, and I've got multiple tracks down here where I can uh, set different uh, properties. Like if I click over here, there's the drop shadow that I can turn on and off. There's the mask. Um, I didn't turn on the uh, remove background, so um, I'm going to add it here, just in my visual effects. Had I chosen remove the background, it would have uh, added it um, in Rev, and the background removal is there. And I can make myself larger and put myself down in the corner, maybe grab the presentation and make that a little bit smaller. And there's the dynamic background that's changing and I'm right there. 
And I'll trim this off so we don't have that stuff at the beginning. I'll do that just by dragging this handle and then clicking on the little scissors. And now I've got my whole presentation. And if I wanted to, I could go back to media and back to assets and there's titles, there's footage, callouts, uh, dynamic backgrounds, music, visualize. I mean, there are tons of stuff and you can search through them all on the line. You can save a giant uh, library of amazing things that you just can drag and drop uh, right on the screen and they will animate uh, accordingly. So lots of fun ways uh, to work. And from here, you can export again to a local file, online screencast, go to YouTube, other destinations. Um, I just typically go out to a local file. So Camtasia Rev is just so much easier for people who want to have a great dynamic look, but don't want to have to fit, you know, go through and find all those effects. Where are they? How do you apply them? And, and what, what's a good layout? The layouts are built for you. One click, out you go. Hey, if you're new to video reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount we really do appreciate. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to show you a little bit of my inside world of my screen recording, but also show you some more advanced features to make it even easier.